This video will introduce you to creating an interactive evidence gap map using the EpiMapper app in conjunction with EpiReviewer. All data for an interactive map needs to be captured using one single coding tool, for example, a coding tool called Data Extraction or Coding for Map. It is always better to design for a map from the beginning of your review to save you time later. However, coding tools can be readjusted as you go, or a targeted coding tool can be created afterwards, although this does create more work. In this example interactive map, using data from a systematic review that investigates flipped learning and student engagement in K-12, I have used year levels for columns and educational technology tools for the rows. The branches in the coding tool that will be used for the map's rows and columns can only be one or two levels deep. They also need to be uniform with all sub-branches the same or similar length. The branch used for within cell categories should contain between one and four answer codes only. In this case, I have chosen to display instances of student engagement and used the codes cognitive, affective and behavioural engagement. After coding your items in EpiReviewer, head to the References tab. If you want all of your items included, select View Options and change the number of items to be shown per page to the number of items in your review. Click on the checkbox at the top to select all items and click on Coding Report. Select the coding tool used. Click the JSON Report button and click Get Report. This may take some time depending on how many items are in your review. Once the report has appeared, save it by clicking on the blue Save icon. Now that you have your JSON report, head to the EpiMapper website and choose the file that you just saved. Choose what data will populate the columns and rows and then what data will be used for the within cell categories called segmenting attributes here. Click on Add Segment and add the codes that you want to include. If you want to include all, click on Add All Children. Then, choose the colours that will represent each code. Then, click on Continue. Next, choose which filters can be used to filter the data. Please keep in mind that these should be branches that appear in the root with only one level of child codes. In future versions of EpiMapper, multiple levels will be supported. Now it's time to select which meta properties will be displayed in item records within the reader. Choose as many as you like. Please note that you will need to select parent title if you want journal names to appear. Provide information about your map in the About field, including links to any further resources such as journal articles and review protocols. Then click Continue. The branding page allows you to insert a title for your map and to upload up to two images to display at the top of your map once it's created. If you don't have or want any images displayed, click Continue. Your interactive map is now ready to be viewed. If you want to host your map online, tick the box. If you'll only be accessing the map offline, then just click on Download. Save the map file and then Open. Here is the created map with the data I had chosen to display. By clicking on any cell, the reader is opened, displaying those items that have that particular cross-section of data. For example, this cell shows how many flipped learning studies in my systematic review were undertaken within maths classes featuring videos made by the teacher and which reported some form of engagement. By clicking on an item alongside the title and abstract, I can see the meta properties displayed that I selected earlier. It is important to note that URL and DOI links entered into EpiReviewer must be in full, otherwise they will not work when clicked in the interactive evidence map. As the interactive map is based on exported data, if there are any updates to your review, you will need to recreate the map. The EpiMapper app is currently still being developed, 
with many powerful features envisaged for future versions. Thanks for watching. Please watch our other videos and don't hesitate to contact us if you have any further questions.